How's it going everybody? Hope you've all been healthy and safe. Today is mail call. Recently I've gotten a package in the mail and it is a piece of gear that I purchased. Um, this is a package right here. Uh, it's been all sprayed down, totally deloused. Uh, I kind of kept it in the garage for a few days as well just because I'm, I'm kind of taking a break from Airsoft right now. So I'm in no um, need for this type of gear for me to, you know, I don't need to use it anytime soon. Um, you know, hopefully in a couple weeks at least I'll be able to really test these, test these out. Um, I'm pretty sure I know exactly what's in there. And without that, uh, without further ado, let's, you know, tear that bag open. That's exactly what I thought. Looks it like it's my new knee pads. They're HK Army Crash CTX knee pads. Um, I purchased these online. Um, before purchasing them, I caught a, I looked for a couple reviews or saw one guy's YouTube review on it and, and liked his review. Um, just visually, you know, I know the type of knee pad I like to use. I don't like knee pads that go over my pants with some sort of hard plastic, um, you know, cup on it. Uh, I, I really think, at least for my game type of gameplay, those knee pads seem to really move around a lot and can shift, which if you don't know that they've moved and, and go to your knee, you can end up causing um, some injury to your knee. Um, I came from a back, paintball background. Um, this piece of equipment is something I needed to, you know, I finally replaced. Here are my old knee pads drop one but you can see them they're old dye paintball knee pads i've had these things for at least 20 years they're older than a lot of the people that i play airsoft with on the field so i definitely got my money's worth out of these but the elasticity is totally gone and shot on them um, they're a little bit big to begin with when i think i bought them and i've been using grip tape ever since uh, just to help keep them secure um, and in place of where i wanted them on my knee um, I don't get a lot of gear online because I like to see the quality of the product I'm purchasing. I like to go to my local um, surplus stores, army surplus stores, or airsoft stores. I like helping them out and um, compared to going online and just uh, purchasing stuff online that way. Um, get these off. The nice thing too is you're seeing there, these things come with um, a couple straps on both of the knee pads. Um, from what I'm looking at, the quality of the, you know, how they're made looks very well. They're also made with a neoprene type of material, um, some other type of fabrics on here. You know, I got some padding on my knees, and it's just like a sleeve like my, um, my old dye knee pads. What I'm seeing right away, the difference, and which I saw online too, they have this cutout on the back of my knee here. Um, this right here is some sort of stretchy, spandexy type of fabric. It's a lot lighter weight than this fabric here. This is a neoprene, and they've cut out a big piece on the back of my knee to allow some ventilation and to help cool my knee down, which is, that's a nice, um, you know, that's a nice thing that they've done there. Um, this is my left knee pad. Oh, actually, I did have the right knee pad. Sorry, I gotta slip this on real quick. We'll see the fit. You know, that's one thing I was really kind of questioning, but if I got the you know, right size for me. Uh, these are a large, uh, you know, size large knee pad, and as of right now, they seem to be working really well. Uh, definitely have some new elastic, <laughs> uh, you know, material in there. They stay nice and uh, seem to be nice and secure on my leg without really even tightening these straps down. Um, I will tighten these straps. And, what, and the thing I'm noticing too right now is this strap looks like it could be pulled all the way out if you didn't want to have the strap in there. Uh, it's not sewn down or sewn into the knee where you cannot remove the strap or you have to cut the strap away. It's a nice that they uh, have it to where you can just pull uh, the strap out if you didn't want it there. I am going to be using these with the straps. So I'm going to tighten one down and tighten the other strap down here. And there it is. I mean, there's the right one. Let's try the left one. So far, I'm very pleased with the um, 
the quality of these knee pads. Again, these are HK Army Crash CTX knee pads, and they're about $65 to $70 online. Um, I really do like the quality of these knee pads, just from me, you know, checking them out for the first time, and I'll do a review on these knee pads down the road um, after I've gotten some playtime in. But they definitely seem like they're, I've purchased the, the correct size, which is good. I was worried about that. And it comes with some nice, definitely some nice options. You know, I like these type of knee pads that go inside my pants. And that's just my type of gameplay and the type of gear I like. Um, we all have our own different preferences on our gear or even really on our play style. So depending on our play style and preferences, depends on some of the gear that we all purchase. So this is what I like to use. And um, so far I'm very pleased. The other nice thing um, HK Army did is it comes, these knee pads came with this drying bag. I'd rather have just seen this bag with um, both mesh on the front and back, not whatever this is, because I probably, if I was to utilize this, this mesh drying bag, I'd put my knee pads in there kind of back to back or you know, opposite ways from each other just so that they can get the same amount of airflow um, if this bag was both uh, mesh on, you know, on either side. Um, but still, very nice that they threw in this little uh, gear bag or drying bag. I can just take off this, this cardboard top and, um, you know, I can throw my knee pads in my gear bag. So I like it. I like what they look like. I like how they feel. Um, they definitely get two thumbs up for me for, for the time being until I can actually really get them out on the field and really field test them. But um, so far, so good. I like them. And, uh, you know, hey, if you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up, subscribe. I'll get some more videos out down the road. If you have any comments or questions, please put them in the comment area. Uh, I have no problem answering questions or comments. Um, and if there's something you saw you'd like me to kind of go into a little bit more detail on, um, also put that in the comment area and I'll, I'll do my best to, um, uh, you know, add some more uh, feedback on whatever it is you may um, have questions about. Besides all that, stay healthy, stay safe, and I will see you on the battlefield. I mean, hopefully you won't see me, but I'm hopefully going to see you.